Hey, it's Joe, and welcome back to Human Fluence. Let's talk about something deeply personal and powerful. How information comes through as a medium. As I continue to practice and learn, I notice that mediumship isn't just about receiving messages, it's about how you interpret them. That's where the real magic happens. When you connect to spirit, the information doesn't always come in clear, straightforward. It's often subtle, layered, and symbolic. So what's important isn't just what you're receiving, it's how you make sense of it. One thing I've learned is that spirit communicates in a variety of ways. Sometimes through images, sometimes through sensations, or even specific words or phrases. These messages can come through as feelings in the body, mental images, sounds, or an inner knowing. It's hard to describe, but undeniably there. And here's the thing. Each piece of information is like a puzzle. It might not make complete sense at first, but when you start putting it all together, the picture becomes clearer. But here's the key. Interpretation is everything. What comes through is often not literal. It can be symbolic. And it's up to us as mediums to figure out what those symbols mean in the context of the reading. For example, if I see a red rose during a session, that might symbolize love or passion or connection to someone named Rose. It could mean something completely different to the person I'm reading for, depending on their experience and the context of their life. So a huge part of mediumship is learning to trust your instincts, your own interpretation of the signs and the knowing that the message you're delivering can resonate on multiple levels. It could be a Rose, it could be love, it could be a girl named Rose. It's not uncommon for spirit to communicate in ways that don't make sense to me as a medium, but that's why interpretation is such a delicate dance. Sometimes I'll receive an image or a word that doesn't seem relevant to me at all, but when I share it with the person I'm reading for, it clicks immediately for them. Their eyes lit up. That's the beauty of this work. Spirit speaks in ways that are deeply personal to the person receiving the message, even, it's a, even if it's obscure to me at first. Another thing I've noticed is that spirit often communicates in fragments. It's rarely a complete sentence or a fully formed idea. It's more like receiving pieces of a story. My job is to help put those pieces back together in a way that makes sense. This is why interpretation requires so much patience and trust. It's a process. You're not just delivering information. You're translating the language of spirit into something that can be understood in this reality. And it's not just about the content of the message, it's also about the feeling that comes with it. Sometimes the emotions behind the message is just as important as the words or symbols themselves. I might get a strong sense of joy, sadness, or urgency that accompanies an image or word. And that emotional energy is part of the message too. It's all interconnected. One of the biggest lessons I've learned is that mediumship isn't about being perfect. It's about being present and open to whatever comes through. Spirit will use what we know and understand to communicate messages. So the more you expand your knowledge and experience, the more tools you have to interpret what comes through. For example, if you're familiar with different cultural symbols, metaphors, or even certain emotional nuances, Spirit can use those as shortcuts to convey deeper meanings. It's also important to remember that every medium receives information differently. Some people are more visual, seeing images and symbols in their mind's eye. That's me. Others are more clairsentient, picking up on emotions and physical sensations. I have that as well, mostly. And then there are those that are clairaudient, hearing specific words or phrases, for me, it's a mix of all these, and the challenge is learning to trust how the information comes in, and more importantly, how to piece it together. Again, the information isn't crystal clear. Other times, it's like looking through a foggy window. But even when the messages are subtle or fragmented, there's always something there if you're patient enough to receive it, and open enough to interpret it without judgment. Mediumship isn't about getting it right or wrong, it's about delivering what you're receiving and trusting that the message will make sense in ways you might not fully understand at that moment. 
What's truly fascinating is that interpretation can evolve. A simpler message that didn't make sense at first might take on deeper meaning as the reading progresses. Or sometimes the message might not fully resonate until days, weeks, months later. Spirit works in layers, and it's our job as mediums to let those layers unfold without trying to force a particular meaning. So what does this all mean for anyone practicing or learning mediumship? It means that patience, trust, and openness are key. It's about being present in the moment, receiving what's there, and knowing that the interpretation might not always be immediate or obvious, and that's okay. Spirit communicates in ways that are often beyond our immediate understanding, but with practice and experience, the interpretation becomes more fluid. It's really a beautiful practice. It's not just about hearing or seeing things from the other side. It's about becoming an interpreter of the subtle symbolic language of spirit, translating those messages in a way that brings comfort, clarity, and healing to the people receiving them. And when we trust the process, when we allow ourselves to be open to whatever comes through, we find that the messages always have meaning. So, if you're practicing mediumship or just starting to explore this path, remember this. The information is always there. It's your role to interpret, to trust your intuition, and to allow the message to come through in the way it's meant to. Interpretation isn't just part of the process, it is the process. And with practice, that interpretation becomes clearer, richer, and more profound. If you're interested in honing your psychic abilities, I have many chapters as well as a full set of exercises at the back of my book, Solutions. I'll link it in the description in the comments. Human Fluence, out. <laughs>